we have a excellent Bitcoin switch update, which makes it easier to build and then also extends the functionality of the project um, by having the ability to add multiple payment pins to our microcontroller. So for those who don't know, Bitcoin switch is a little module that you can retrofit into a sweet machine, claw game, arcade machine, coffee machine, beer tap, whatever. And then someone makes a payment and it turns something on for a period of time. It was restricted before to one GPIO being triggered to high and turning the thing on, but now we can have multiple GPIOs being triggered to high, up to five in fact. So you could use this to retrofit a, a vending machine and it's five quid's worth of hardware. As well as that, we've also made it much easier to install the thing before you'd have to use the Arduino IDE, install a bunch of libraries. Um, but we've now got, uh, if you follow this link, we'll go to our web installer, which we can use to flash the device. Um, so I suppose without further ado, let's let's build the device, shall we? There is uh, in the YouTube, Makerbits YouTube channel, there's an older video um, here. Oh no, that's the fossa. Uh, where are we? Here, Bitcoin switch. Um, and in this video, I go into some more detail about taking sweet machines apart and the claw game apart and retrofitting them with, with this thing. So you can still use that for reference for the hardware stuff, but um, for actually installing the software onto the microcontroller, uh, this is definitely the way to go. So I'm gonna plug in my microcontroller. Then I'm gonna go to the, um, the Bitcoin switch web installer. You have to use Chrome for this, um, or Edge, because, or I think maybe Brave works as well, because it's using something called Web Serial, which is only available to those browsers. Uh, Firefox need to merge in. So just flash, scroll down, select that. Wait a moment. Install on bits Bitcoin switch, erase device. Next. Now, with these simple little microcontroller. Um, ESP32 boards, there's a little boot button you need to hold down when you press install. It's actually a nice security feature, so someone can't install uh, firmware onto the device without physically pressing and holding a button. So we're erasing the memory on the microcontroller, just in case there's anything saved in there. These are about three, four pounds from Amazon. You can pick them up for a couple of quid from AliExpress. Now we're installing. Um, let's set up the software side. So this is using LMBits. Uh, and in fact, another update is that it's much faster because we're actually, this will have a WebSocket to LMBits. And you'll see how fast it is now. So what should we call it? LEDs. So we're gonna make a wallet in LMBits. You can use the demo server, but preferably use your own server. Go to LN your devices, open that up. Okay, go to new LN your device instance. Click on switch. LEDs, fiat currency, it's denominated in a fiat currency uh, just to make pricing easier. So you'd have to keep repricing the thing with fluctuations. So we're gonna go for two pence. So for two pence, you can turn something on for two seconds and it will turn on, turn on pin 27. If you look at the microcontroller here, you've got all these little numbers, pin 27's over here. Okay, we're gonna add another one. And we're going to say for one pence, you can turn on pin 26 for five seconds. And we're going to create that. This gives us this string, which we need to copy. This is the WebSocket string we need to copy and put onto the device. How are we doing? Installation complete, fantastic. Now, we're going to control shift R, restart the browser. Then we're going to unplug. Now there's a, 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 a pin, GPIO 4, which is about there. And by pressing that, it will trigger the USB config portal thing. So we're going to unplug it and then plug it in, hold down just on that side really. And then the microcontroller will pick that up. Pick that up. Now we can access the memory to be able to pass across our config details so we can connect to our server. So we're going to click on config. Okay, connect, we connected, very nice. Select template, Bitcoin switch. 
and here's the link put in your Wi-Fi credentials I'm gonna blur out and then click on save to device very good now we need to wire up those LEDs to our microcontroller so get your ribbon cable your female to female ribbon cable take two wires we're going to plug in black to ground all these are labeled on the microcontroller they may be different as well because some ESP32s their, their, their pin maps are slightly different so um, if you've bought a slightly different ESP32 just Google the pin map. Right, that's pin 27. So let's just test the one LED first, shall we? See if that works. Okay, we have on this LED, um, most LEDs just have two wires, one long leg, one short leg. Um, and then that's gonna be our high pin, the long leg, positive. And then the short, pin, the short leg is a, a negative. But in this case we have three short legs because this is an RGB LED so we can depending on which short leg we choose it'll be red green blue let's plug that in put that in there there we go now have I restarted this thing yet no I haven't so I'm going to unplug it plug it back in let it restart okay by now it should have connected to my Wi-Fi, made a WebSocket to the LMBit server. And now if I go over here, and then here we go, here's pin 27, that's pin 26, two LNURLs. If I copy that LNURL, now I'm gonna have to pay with uh, a Telegram bot. Okay, paste the LNURL in there. Rather than scan that QR code, do I wanna pay? Yes, I do pay. And there we are, the LED comes on. Could you see that? I hope you could see that. Yeah, I think you could. Um, the LED comes on. Now let's try the other LED, shall we? Pin 26. So 26 is next to 27, where you'd expect it to be. Oh, crikey. And there's another ground over here, I believe. So ground is gray. Grab another LED. So ground is grey. Live wire is the long. There we go. Okay. Oh. I'll have to stop hold it, I think. Right, so let's go for pin twenty six. Copy L in URL. Paste that in there. I think this is the one which turns on for five seconds and it's a little bit cheaper. There we go. We get a green light for five seconds. Pretty cool. So we already, if we print out these QR codes, someone can pay to turn on these because these are reusable um, LNURLs. So if someone can pay to turn on these, these lights, we can just print out the QR codes, put it next to them. But the real power comes when you attach one of these little cheap 50p relays so I take the the live which is the long leg and I attach that to s which is the signal pin the ground goes to the negative pin these are marked under these little legs you can see here now you need an additional wire to power the relay so the relay is just a, a mechanical switch electronic switch with a mechanical element in um, and then when it gets a high it will turn the switch on and make a connection between this terminal block and this terminal block here. So anything with a switch, like, you know, when we retrofit the arcade machines, we just replace the coin mech uh, with a wire going in there, wire coming out there, and then we just get this to turn on for a millisecond, 100 milliseconds, and then that just simulates a coin dropping in the machine, and you have a, a arcade machine which can accept lightning, which is pretty cool. So this goes to the five volt, which is that one there. As I said, it's just like Lego, right? And then there's our relay attached. 
So now, which pin did we replace? Can't remember. 26. So now if I go back to 26, copy that LN URL, paste that in there, and then pay. There we go. Can you see that? There we are. That was the relay clicking on and off. So now you can pretty much turn anything on, print out that QR code, stick it to something, and then turn anything on using this little relay and five quid's worth of electronics. Great project. So, and as you can see with the new installer, super easy to set up. So have fun with that. Good luck. Um, uh, if you retrofit anything to accept Bitcoin payments, Lightning payments, then please do hashtag um, Bitcoin switch or at LM bits or something. And then we'll be able to retweet and everything. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you again. Bye.